welcome back y'all um today me and megan have decided to just go ahead and bring y'all along on another busy day here on the farm we've got so many things going on right now and megan she's got bacon over here in the smoker uh smoking and ten thousand things going on inside the house and we're just gonna bring you along and just let y'all enjoy the day with us I've got a small little project here I need to do. I've got to make some more of these. Um, this is what we call a saw buck or saw horse or whatever. But um, anyways, we keep uh, our salted down meat from our hogs up at my grandma's house. And we've got an old tobacco pack house up there and we keep the uh, meat in it. We use those saw bucks there to lay boards down on and make a table out of. Well, long story short, we need two more saw bucks for another table because the legs that were under it broke. So I've got some old poplar lumber here that I sawed off of uh, the sawmill the other day and kind of overlooked this y'all. I've got an issue going on with my sawmill that I'm hoping to address here soon. I think I finally figured out what's wrong with it. But um, you can see it's not cutting straight. How those, and those are not warped either. Like it's not cutting straight. That's why they're like that. But for what we're going to do today, that'll be fine. We don't have to have perfect lumber to build uh, saw horses out of. But before I get started, I want to walk down here and show y'all a little something I've been working on, sort of like a sneak peek, um, a little surprise I've been working on. And it is beautiful. <laughs> so here's my sawmill, but I've got these cedar boards here. That I've been getting sanded. I saw these on the mill the other day. I've sanded them down. I'm fixing to make something out of those, which I'm not going to say yet what that is. And this is the sawmill. And there's some of the scrap boards that come off of it as well that I'm sure I'll turn them into something, but I don't need those for the project I'm working on. But the crazy thing about it is those boards were sawed out of little old scrawny cedar logs that I had from when we cleared a uh, part of that 10 acres up the road here. And I really didn't think they were gonna be good for nothing. Like I had almost cut them up for firewood. And after I decided to put them on the mill, I'm really glad I didn't. They turned out to be beautiful. And I know when I get done with my little project I'm working on and get some, uh, varnish or something put on those things oh it's really gonna make that grain stand out but anyways enough chit chatting i gotta get to work Okay, so I got one of them done. See there, it resembles that one. They're not exactly the same, but it'll do the job. Now I just gotta repeat the process and make another one. Um, I'm not gonna make y'all sit through watching me build another one. So uh, I'm gonna go over here real quick and look in this smoker. See if we got smoke in here. Look at there, y'all. My goodness. If only y'all could smell that. That's gonna be some mighty fine bacon right there. 
Well, let's get this other one built. And sometime this season, we'll run them up to my grandma's and I'll kind of show y'all exactly what I'm going to be doing. With them. What you working on now? Making some more cannon mats. I had a viewer send me this and this and this because I don't know any, you know, well, I'm not going to say I don't know anything about sewing. I mean, I've kind of taught myself, but gadgets like this is not something that I even knew existed. And one of our sweet viewers sent it to me and it sure has made life a whole lot easier than cutting them with scissors. That's for sure. <laughs> it looks like it's a whole lot easier. Yeah, it's a whole lot easier. It's a whole lot easier to keep everything straight. Wee, look at that. <laughs> it smells good. Yeah, there's your daddies. Oh. So that bacon will stay there. Till tomorrow? Well, until we get time to slice it, really. Yeah. We'll put it in the refrigerator and just gotta be cold. Gotta be cold when you slice it and it'll stay. Or you won't ever be. <laughs> yeah, it's too jiggly right now. Let it chill out and it'll stay till we get time to slice it, which will be in the next couple of days. So we got the saw bucks done and we brought them up here to grandma. And I'm gonna show you exactly where we're gonna put them at. What we're doing. So they're going under here. You see those old plastic things are trying to collapse on us. Well, we use these tables here to lay our salted meat on. Well, it's just as simple as that. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. No, it wasn't too bad. But there's our hog jaws. They're looking good there. They're looking real good. So if you don't know, you take and salt those down. And, uh, you know, it's just like, I don't know, it's the same temperature in here as it is outside. And it's, that's why we kill hogs in the cold time of year. Um, and they'll lay there with salt on them till... Well, for probably after the first of the year, you slice the first. Yeah, one. usually you slice the first one around the first of the year, and that's your what you're eating on New Year's Day. And uh, so, and right now it is right at the beginning of December. Um, so, you know, they can lay there roughly a month, but they can lay there longer than that because that salt protects them. I wouldn't technically call them cured to where they could lay out forever, but they could lay there till springtime and be just fine. Once it starts getting hot, you wouldn't want them laying here no more. They start to go rank. Look at all the stuff that's been washed out. Yeah, that's all the juices that drain out of them. That's the salt draws it out. That's what makes yep. it heat. I put, I put brown sugar on that one along with the salt. Um, but yeah, that uh, what we do after this is we'll take and slice these up and then vacuum pack them and freeze them. And then they'll be good to go. But... Um, there's more bacon waiting for Megan to cook. It's 
it sits about a week through. Yeah, we let the bacon salt down. Right here's a piece you can see in there. It salts down for about a week and a half to two weeks before we cook it and or smoke it, I mean. But anyways, I guess that's about it for today. Uh, time to go to the house and we're having, eat some supper. We're having a big uh, neck roast. We're having, yeah, we're having yeah, a big neck which roast. Which is the end of the backbone pretty much. And it's a big old chunk of meat. And so I threw it in the crock pot with some potatoes and carrots. So that'll yeah. be good as cold as it is. I think it's going to be really good. <laughs> it smells good. <laughs> but anyways, we hope y'all enjoyed spending a little bit of time with us today. And we appreciate y'all watching. Thank y'all so much for all the continued support. And anyways, guys, till we see you on the next one. Y'all have a good one.